Hey, what's up, Questers? A brand new firmware update, Firmware 17, has started rolling out for the Oculus Quest, and it's got some features and functions that people have been asking for for a while. As part of this new update, hand tracking will be moving from the experimental features to the actual general release, and as part of that, we're gonna be seeing some new games and experiences coming to the Quest or updates to include hand tracking. And one of those games is The Curious Tale of the Stolen Pets, and I gotta tell you, I am super excited to be able to play around in these diorama worlds and find those pets using just my digits. Also, another game that is absolutely perfect for hand tracking is Waltz of the Wizard. Plus, not only are they adding the ability to use hand tracking to the existing game, but it looks as if they're actually adding in some additional elements that utilize hand tracking to add to the experience. We're also gonna be seeing the cinematic narrative set coming at some point this month as well with Gloomy Eyes, a tale of a zombie kid and mortal girl who fall in love and the line about a world of miniatures where routine is paramount and everything is always the same, both of which are gonna include hand tracking, which is just cool to see so many things already coming out for hand tracking. On top of that, Elixir, which I believe is actually the demo that was used at OC6 last year, is going to be available to download, to use, and test the hand tracking as well. Also as part of this update, we're gonna be getting a brand new groups tab underneath of the social section on the Oculus Quest. This will give us the ability to join groups using our Oculus ID and post to those groups. And instead of it using our personal Facebook pages, it's gonna use our Oculus ID. Now, one quick note, you do have to have your Oculus ID connected to a Facebook account for this to work, but I think this is a cool way to integrate Facebook groups and in the future, Facebook Horizon to your Oculus Quest ID. Also as part of this update, we're getting some adjustments to the Guardian system to make things more safe. And that includes the brand new Play Space Scan. Moving forward, once this updates, the Quest's Guardian system will scan your Guardian area for any objects that could potentially be dangerous or you could trip over inside of that Guardian. And it'll alert you to let you know that you need to adjust your Guardian or move those items and it even gives you a visual representation of what it's seeing. Of course, you do have the ability to actually exclude objects and continue past that. Also being added is the ability to customize the colors of your Guardian. You're gonna be able to pick blue, purple, or yellow, which is pretty cool. Another cool feature about the Guardian is the ability to turn on the glance down feature, which allows you to glance down at your feet and actually see a visual representation on the floor of where your Guardian is so you always know where it's at. There are some other small updates like social reporting and the report flow as you report a user, the ability to search for Oculus bundles in the Oculus store, and sharing options that allow you to more easily share to Facebook or Messenger right after you capture a video or photo. Also, voice diction, I'm not sure if you use that or not, is moving from the experimental features to the general release as well. One thing a lot of people have been asking for though, and I think a lot of people are gonna be excited about, is the ability to actually turn off that little red dot that appears up in the right-hand corner while you're either streaming, casting, or recording. I personally still use it because I like having that there. It tells me that I'm still recording, but a lot of people don't like it, and there now is going to be an option to take that off. All right, so let's jump in really quickly to the headset. I wanna show you a couple of quick things in there in the settings and some UI changes. All right, so here we are inside of the Quest. This is gonna be super quick. Just a couple of quick things I wanna show you. The first thing is how to turn off the red dot. All you gotta do is go into your settings tab, and this is the new UI that I'm using. You go into the devices tab in your settings, and you scroll all the way down and you can see where it says video capture indicator that allows you to turn off as it shows a red dot when casting streaming or live recording or recording rather hit that switch and it'll turn off the little red dot up in the right hand corner like i said i use it because i've had some issues with recordings in the past and with it stopping so it allows me to know that it's recording still the other quick thing i wanted to show you is actually a ui update and if you can look right here there's one big update to this section right here and that is the unknown sources tab it is a nice to actually have it in a spot that is easily accessible it used to be that you'd had to go to the all apps and then you drop down the menu here and go all the way down to unknown sources it wasn't that big of a deal but it was still more hidden than anything else now it's right on the left hand side underneath the app tray. so all you got to do is click on your quick menu and it's right there click it and you got your unknown sources right there, which makes things super simple. Now, there are some other updates that have not rolled out as of yet, including going to the social tab. If you go to the social tab, you can uh, pop into there and you can also, uh, uh, let's go here. There we go. You can see that there's no groups tab here. Oh, look, GT's online. We should, <laughs> we should say hi. Uh, so you can go in here and you can see that there's no groups tab. There will be a groups tab in here once it gets updated because then you'll be able to post, share, and join different groups on Facebook inside of this tab. As of right this second, it's not available. I was talking to someone that runs one of those groups that's going to be integrated. 
and they said that it should be really soon. So that should be coming very soon. There's also some other things that are still not updated yet, including if you go into the experimental features, you can scroll down. Hand tracking is still experimental because it just hasn't updated. I believe that's actually coming later this week. I don't quote me on that 100%. I believe it is within this next week or at least week and a half that we'll be seeing that move over from the experimental tab to the full on general release tab. All right, so I know this was a super quick video and a quick jump into the headset, but I really wanted to feature some of the different updates to update 17 and just show you where to find things as well as talk about what is actually coming this month for the quest. There's also a few other smaller things coming in this release package. So jump to the release notes down below and you can check those out. Have you gotten the update yet? And are you excited for these new hand tracking games to come out? I can tell you I'm very curious and excited to check them out because I think that it's a cool way to use the quest. I'm curious to see where hand tracking leads us for the rest of this year. If you wanna get the most out of your quest, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications. Plus you can check out more of my videos right there. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe and happy questing.